Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about peroxetine. What is this drug peroxetine? The suffix oxetine indicates that this drug is an SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. We have another drug with similar suffix fluoxetine which is again an SSRI. Still we have other drugs with different suffix such as fluoxamine, cytolopram which is having its S isomer as acytolopram. Similarly cetraline all these are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. This peroxetine can be used in the treatment of major depressive disorder where the patient is associated with if you have the symptoms such as irritability, insomnia, pessimism, feeling of guilt and social withdrawal. In such conditions peroxetine can be given to manage the depressive symptoms in the patients. Similarly, it can also be indicated for few of the anxiety disorders. Peroxetine can be indicated for panic anxiety disorder. This is an anxiety disorder associated with panic symptoms such as increased heart rate, palpitations, tremor, sweating. So such symptoms along with anxiety can be controlled by this peroxetine. Similarly, another anxiety disorder is the generalized anxiety disorder where there is no proper reason for the anxiety but still the symptoms of anxiety can be observed in the patients. In such conditions again peroxetine can be used. Another indication is in the social anxiety disorder. This is the anxiety observed in the patients towards any social interaction. The patient may have some social withdrawal due to the anxiety. Similarly in the conditions like obsessive compulsive disorder where the patient is having fear of the obsessions as well as compulsions such as maintaining of hygiene, risk of infections, eating habits. All these conditions may increase the anxiety as well as irritability within the patient which is collectively known as obsessive compulsive disorder. Again in both of these anxiety disorders peroxetine can be given. Another anxiety disorder is a post-traumatic stress disorder. This is the anxiety that is generated by recalling of past stressful events. Particularly this anxiety can be observed up to 4 weeks which can be managed by this peroxetine. Apart from these anxiety disorders, peroxetine can also be used in the management of premenstrual dysphoric disorder PMDD. This is an extension of premenstrual syndrome where the woman is associated with few of the symptoms such as irritability, anxiety, difficulty in concentration, mood changes before the menstruation. So again in such conditions peroxidine can be used to manage this premenstrual dysphoric disorder. So today in this video we are going to see how this drug acts, what is its chemical nature, what are the important precautions, side effects and doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. First of all it is the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of peroxidine and here we can identify one of the heterocyclic ring system that is nothing but the piperidine. This piperidine is having an attachment at the third position. Simply it is having a methyl group. So we can write this as 3-methyl. But this methyl group is further attached to an heterocyclic ring system through an oxygen bridge. So this is the heterocyclic ring system. Let us give the numbering. We can start the numbering from the oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it is attached by fifth position through the oxygen. And the ring system is benzodioxal, where oxygens are present at first and third position. So we can write this as 1,3-benzodioxal, 5-ile oxy. Similarly to the pyridine ring system at the fourth position, parafluorophenyl group is present. So 4-4-fluorophenyl. That is the complete name of peroxetine. Now let us see how this drug acts. Peroxetine can block multiple types of receptors. It can block 5-T receptors such as 5-T1A and 5-T2A and 2C. It can also block dopamine receptors such as D1 and D2. It can block adrenergic receptors such as alpha and beta. And it can also block the muscanic acetylcholine receptors which are mainly responsible for anticholinergic side effects. 
Even this drug antagonizes so many types of receptors. It can also block H1 receptors. But all these are not attributed to its therapeutic action. The main therapeutic action of peroxetine is associated with inhibition of reuptake of serotonin. That's why it is classified as SSRI, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. At the serotonergic neurons, 5-HT is going to be stored into the synaptic vesicles and this 5-HT can act on the postsynaptic receptors which are equipped with 5-HT2 receptors. Now when the action potential reaches to the presynaptic nerve terminal, the calcium can enter and can produce exocytosis so that the 5-HT can be released and it can act on 5-HT2 receptors. Now when these 5-HT2 receptors are activated, they can produce excitation and signal in the postsynaptic neurons. But the action of the released 5-HT depends on how much time it is available within the synaptic cleft because the presynaptic neurons are expressed with few of the uptake transporters. These are the SCRT, serotonin reuptake transporter. This SCRT is having the two sites. This is the primary site and is the allosteric site. Now the released 5-HT can be again taken into the nerve terminal through this SCRT. This reuptake can reduce the action of 5-HT on the postsynaptic receptors. Now peroxetine is one of the drug which can block this SCRT both at the primary site as well as at the allosteric site. So when these sites are blocked, the 5-HT cannot be uptaken into the nerve terminal so that it remains within the synaptic cleft. In this way, peroxidine can increase the levels of 5-HT within the synaptic cleft, resulting in the increased serotonergic transmission. Similarly, peroxidine can also act on few of the 5-HT receptors. For instance, 5-HT 1-A receptors are present in the presynaptic neurons. They can inhibit the release of 5-HT, thereby they can reduce the serotonergic transmission. Now, peroxidine can block these 5-HT 1 receptors so that it can remove the inhibition of neurotransmitter release. In this way, peroxidine can increase the serotonergic transmission which improves the symptoms both in the depression as well as anxiety. Even this is the primary site of mechanism but the delayed pharmacological effects of peroxidine are mainly responsible for improving of symptoms in the patients. What are the precautions? One of the important precautions of peroxidine is that this drug can increase the risk of serotonin syndrome. This is a syndrome associated with excessive elevation of 5-HT levels, which produce few of the symptoms in the patient such as agitation, hallucinations, confusion, anxiety, tachycardia, hyperthermia, increased body temperature, diaphoresis, sweating, flushing, redness of the skin, tremor and muscle rigidity can be observed within the patients. And particularly this serotonin syndrome is more pronounced when this peroxidine is combined with other drugs such as TCAs and MAO inhibitors. Similarly, peroxidine can affect the blood vessels and can increase the risk of bleeding. This may lead to few of the conditions such as epistaxis, nasal bleeding, hematoma, blood in the urine and even gastrointestinal bleeding. So the risk of bleeding and other complications can be increased by peroxidine particularly when this drug is combined with other drugs such as aspirin which is an antiplatelet agent, warfarin which is an oral anticoagulant and NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which further increase the risk of bleeding. So when these drugs are combined, the risk of bleeding is more pronounced by peroxidine. Similarly, peroxidine can also increase the risk of seizures, particularly the patients with unstable epilepsy, the risk of seizures is more pronounced. And this drug can also increase mania in the patients, which is quite opposite to the depression. Otherwise, it can also produce hypomania. So it can also produce either mania or hypomania based on the dose and duration of the treatment. Another important effect of peroxidine is on the eye. It can produce angle closure glaucoma. So if a patient is already having any prehistory of glaucoma, this drug should be carefully given because peroxidine can increase the pupillary dilatation. When these pupils are dilated, they can increase the narrowing of canal of sclem, which further increase the intraocular pressure, resulting in increased risk of angle closure glaucoma. So in such patients, this peroxidine should not be used. 
What are the side effects? The important side effects mainly include dry mouth, constipation, dyspepsia, which are mainly because of anticholinergic side effects. And it can also produce some somnol and sleepiness in the patients, dizziness, tremor. It can also produce some loss of libido, decreased sexual desire, anxiety, some abnormal ejaculation, impotence can also be produced by this drug, asthenia, lack of energy, abnormal vision, vision changes can be observed because of pupillary dilatation, any skin rashes can also be observed with this peroxetine. How it is given? This drug is available as a tablet at different strengths such as 10, 20, 30 and 40 mg. This drug is also available as oral suspension and is also available as CR tablet. The dose of the drug depends on the type of clinical indication for the treatment of major depressive disorder, generalized anxiety disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder. In all these conditions, this drug is initiated at 20 mg per day and the dose is variable from 20 to 50 mg per day. So the initial dose is 20 mg, the maximum dose is 50 mg. Similarly, for the treatment of OCD as well as social anxiety disorder, the dose is variable from 20 to 60 mg per day. For the treatment of panic anxiety disorder, this drug is given at 10 to 60 mg per day. So that's about this drug paroxetine, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. This drug can be used in the major depressive disorder as well as various types of anxiety disorders such as panic anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder and even it can be used in the treatment of premenstrual dysphoric disorder. In all these conditions, it can control the anxiety, irritability as well as depressive symptoms in the patients. This drug selectively blocks reuptake of serotonin by blocking both primary as well as allosteric sites on the SCRT, serotonin reuptake transporter. So this drug should be carefully given the patients with any risk of glaucoma or risk of bleeding. And it can also produce some serotonin syndrome when it is combined with other antidepressants such as TCS and MAO inhibitors. So that's about this drug, peroxetine. That's for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.